Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to go over things I want but will not be buying. And I'm gonna tell you why. So I shared on my TikTok, if you're not following me, you should follow me there. Um, I shared on my TikTok that I have done like three or four major closet cleanouts within the past year and a half. And when I say major, I mean like early 2020, I had gotten rid of probably 75% of my clothes. I stuck to a journal on like things I could buy, things I was allowing myself to buy because I didn't want to like hoard things again. Um, and COVID hit and I basically used shopping as a coping mechanism, which is one of my biggest issues. Anyway, like all that aside, I moved to Texas. So I did a closet cleanup before then. I did one while I was living in the apartment until before we got our house. And lo and behold, this weekend I did yet another closet clean out and I am honestly disgusted by it. Um, as I've mentioned, I love shopping. I'm not gonna, not, I'm not gonna be a minimalist. I know that's not me. I wouldn't be happy as a minimalist, but I think I just need to be smarter about my shopping choices because it's, it's not sustainable to be shopping that often. Um, it's wasteful to, in terms of like monetary, it's just like it's wasteful in so many ways as i mentioned i'm not a minimalist but when i did that journal i was very good about sticking to that journal so basically what i did was made a year list or goals of like i it's silly to say goals but i made like a list of like what i would want f for this year so it was like maybe major ha handbags i know gucci loafers were on there because that's expensive like seasonal goals which was like i can only buy if it fits in like one of these categories and i thought like that was a good way to like still allow myself to buy a couple trendy items but like also limit myself because i don't need everything i've been i almost placed an order on store it's and then i need on aritzia this past week and I was like, you know what? Hold the phone. Let's think about this. So I wrote down, I think it's like five or six items that I was like ready to buy. So I'm going to explain to you why I won't be buying them or why I won't be buying them right now. If you haven't already, I would love if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. I talk about all things fashion and beauty. First on the chopping block. Okay, that was dramatic. I am going to put pictures of the things that I am talking about up here. Um... So first off are the bright button ups. Specifically, I wanted this one from Storitz. It's like $50. I don't know why, I've never been a green, okay, I'm wearing green today. That's not, that was an accident. <laughs> I'm normally not a green person, but for some reason I feel like the Bottega green has like, somehow made me want everything in green. So I wanted to get this button up from Storitz and I believe it is $50. Um, it's oversized and all that. So I'm not getting it for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's oversized on a model who's probably like, I don't know, 5'7". Okay, 5'7 is probably short on the models. Regardless, it's oversized on her. I'm five feet. Who do I think I am wearing an oversized shirt for like a normal sized person being five feet? That thing's gonna be down to like my shins. Reason number two, I know a couple years ago, I decluttered button ups like this that my husband had that he there were colors that we just didn't like anymore for his wardrobe um that said i'm gonna just go to goodwill and see if i can find one that i like because i don't think a 50 dollars button up shirt that's in a bright color like that is a wise purchase if it was a nice white one that i know i would wear like for years to come sure i can make it a dress whatever but for a bright color when i'm five feet tall and it's gonna hit my shins that's why it's a no from me. I love all things leather. Leather jackets, leather tops, leather pants, faux leather, real leather. Leather, I love all leather. So these Aritzia Molina pants are like the popular ones that everyone's been talking about for years. So I do social media marketing management as my main source of income right now. And we have like our team pictures and headshots next week. So I kind of wanted to stop, get those black faux leather pants to wear with my blazer, my outfit, yada yada, look professional. So here's the thing, they're like $140. Right now, it's not in my budget for this month. That is very expensive to just allocate to a pant. I know I'm gonna get the use out of them. Like I know I'll wear them probably like once a week once I buy them. They're just A, not in my budget this month, and B, I live in Texas. There's no way I'm wearing those again anytime soon. So why waste a hundred, or why allocate 150 is minimum, you know, plus tax, of my funds 
to pants that I'm not going to even be able to enjoy for like, I don't know, three months. Uh, so for that reason, I am just going to wear faux leather leggings that I have. Um, I have other leather leggings that I can also wear. I have other leather pants. I have my split hem pants that I can wear with the blazer that I was planning on wearing. I'm just going to wait on those. So I guess that one is kind of like, I am going to buy it, just not now. Uh, but I just wanted to also include that just to show you that, you know, don't get hyped up on an event coming up and thinking that you need something. You assess your closet and see if it's actually a need <laughs> or like something that's missing in your closet. Or if it's just like, you know, you have an event and you just thought of the perfect outfit and, um, you know, you may not wear it anytime soon. This neon um, coordination set, cord set from Soritz. I saw this on one of my favorite influencers, uh, Sivan. So it's a neon pink. It's like a tube top and then it's like pants. And right now I can't think of the material, the pants. It's not nylon or maybe is it nylon? But they're like the swishy material. Swishy material. Um... So it's $50 for the set, which I don't think is that expensive, but I'm not getting it for multiple reasons. One, I already have a couple combination like shirt and shorts sets from l and I'll link them down below. I love them. I wear them all the time. So I don't know if I need like yet another combination set because I'm really into like wearing those sets like separately together, you know, just making different outfits. So I think it'd be overkill to have like another one in the rotation. And then the other thing is I am obsessed with the Prada nylon shorts. So I've been trying to find dupes for them. I found, I thrifted some last year, but um, homegirl gained some COVID weight. <laughs> so I don't fit in them right now, but I'm keeping them just in case I tone up. And I think I would get more wear out of black ones than like pink, bright pink neon, neon pink ones. So for that reason, I'm not going to get that set. I realized it was not worth it. Like it's relatively cheap for like two pieces, but in my wardrobe, it it's not gonna get the use for like, you know, what I would want. The other one is um, this fun oversized blazer. Um, I wanted it in like a fun color, uh, Reed Bottega Green. <laughs> uh, I like this one in particular because it has like the exaggerated shoulders, just like the Bottega one, or not Bottega, the Balenciaga blazers that like Hailey Bieber wears. Um, Shamelessly, I love Hailey Bieber's style. Um, I even did a TikTok recreating her outfits. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do that on YouTube. Um, I had a lot of fun. Again, I'm five feet tall. Anything that's oversized on a damn model is going to swallow me and make it look like I was shopping in my dad's closet, which sometimes is fine. Other times, not a good look. So first of all, am I going to be into green in a few months even years like is this Bottega green gonna just go away like that I'd rather get the green in a handbag or something like that than like than like clothing pieces um yeah I so that's one reason second reason I think it'd be ill fit like if I'm being realistic with myself it's not gonna fit me well um and I would probably just try to make it work because I'm like oh yeah it's the oversized look so for that reason no I recently sold a ragged bone blazer that I have or that I had, I bought it on sale at Neiman last call for like $40 and it retailed like 600 and I never wore it. All I'm getting at with that is I'm a blazer girl and a lot of times I justify my purchases because I'm like, oh, I'm a blazer girl. But like I have my favorite blazers and I just feel like $100 for something that's trendier when like the Ragged Bone was actually like more of a classic item. I don't think I'm gonna get the wear out of it. For another reason, and something that's more of a tip for you guys, I feel like right now a lot of the trendy pieces are very like thriftable. I don't know if that's a word, but follow me on this. So like since the 90s are coming back and like there's a lot of bold colors that are popular right now, pretty sure you can find that stuff at the thrift store. I'm just gonna try to like thrift that green blazer if it's still in my system. That's the thing with these things. It might be in my system one week, week and then the following week I don't even care about it. The other thing is I have bright, fun colored blazers already. <laughs> I have this bright pink one and I have this, okay, I'm bad with colors. Is this lavender? Is this lilac? I have this one. Do I really need another bright color in the mix? No, because between these two, oh, I thrifted both of these, by the way. I think I paid less than $10 for both of them. Between the two of these, even though both of these colors are in style, I wear the purple one the most. That's why I don't think it's worth getting that green one. If I find a, uh, if I find a one at the Goodwill, if I see one, I'll like still assess the price because 
Um, I, I'm not gonna throw something if it's gonna just sit in my closet. Let's talk about my soccer mom vibes today. So when I was younger, I'd say like high school, I was obsessed with Lacoste, like obsessed. I was a really preppy kid. Um, I got this and I never got rid of it even though it hasn't been my style for a long time. Well, today I decided to bring out the preppy mom vibes. I'm gonna go pick up my son at golf lessons <laughs> later. This necklace is one of my favorites. I got it this year. Um, it's actual real pearls and then it has like a little thin gold chain. It's from one of my favorite brands that I discovered this year. Her name is, or the brand's name is Alapina. I'll link them down below. Any necklace that you've probably seen on this channel has been by her. I love it. I got a cute swimsuit from her. You guys should really support her. I love all her stuff. The last one on my list are these, I wrote silky lavender crinkle pants. I want to vamp up my pant game, essentially. I feel like I wear a lot of jeans, which is fine. I love jeans. I feel confident in jeans, but I've been wanting to like switch it up. So this year I bought more like khakis or like dress pants, I guess. So I wanted these silky lavender crinkle pants. So <laughs> these to me seem to be a very trendy item. So they're not that expensive, but I'm like, how often am I going to wear lavender crinkle pants? Not that often. Like I'd rather take those $34 and put them towards another pair of dress pants or something, or I don't know, just something that's going to be more of a staple in my closet than something that's like very memorable like this, because I feel like something like this, I'm going to, I'm not going to want to wear them once a week. And I'm tired of having things in my closet that I buy for like one outfit in mind and then never wear again, because that's, it's a waste of money. So like when I look at all the clothes that I'm donating because I can't sell it on Poshmark because people want to give me $5 for like something that was expensive. Like I'd rather just donate it at that point. Like it makes me mad because if I would like, actually no, I don't want to count up all the money that I've wasted because that could be a good chunk of like what we're putting towards our patio or what we're putting towards things that we're doing around the house. That's why I wanted to make this video, honestly, was just to get you guys thinking, like, trust me, I'm sure it, you guys are the same where every day you want something new make sure you think about it put it in your cart and step back and like think about it like do you need something else like that so yeah all i'm getting at is be smart with your purchases um it's a safe space here we all love shopping i'm gonna continue to shop you don't need to worry about me becoming a minimalist because i would never i mean look look at this denim jacket with pearls that i just bought does this look like a minimalist this closet no no, but really, I just want you guys to be smart about your choices because I feel like a lot of us are just like wasting money and, you know, you could put it towards something else, even if it's ordering Chipotle instead. Anyway, I would love if you guys would leave me a comment with something that you're currently loving and wanting, but now after this video, you're reconsidering and maybe you won't be purchasing. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all and I will see you on the next one. Bye.